My name is Pat Morrissey. I'm a 46-year-old GP. I live and work in Adair in County Limerick. I'm married with three teenage sons and I've been working for the past 20 years in my own practice. The pandemic has affected me like many other people. In my own position as a doctor, I read as widely as I could. I tried to get a grip on what was going on in the country. As time went by, I realized that things were not being done to the best uh, outcome. I believed that we were not using effective therapeutics we were not looking after people, especially in nursing homes and more vulnerable, uh, to the best of our ability. I felt the need to speak out. What happened as a result of my speaking out meant that I lost two positions, two paid positions. I have lost colleagues. I have lost friends. It has caused acrimony in my extended family. But at this point, in the crisis, in the pandemic, I still feel that I would have done the same thing over again. It was worth it. I'd like to talk to you about two issues. The first is masks and the second is therapeutics that are available to us to treat COVID. In respect to masks, I could be glib and talk about mosquitoes and wire fences. However, this is scientifically shown in the study by Bundgaard from Denmark, the Danmask study that was done during the height of the first wave. It showed that there is no difference between those wearing masks and not wearing masks. There were 6,000 people recruited, 5,000 completed the study, and there was no significant difference between those wearing masks and those not wearing masks. Now, you probably haven't heard about this study, and there is a reason why you haven't. It's because it doesn't fit with the mainstream narrative. But you can look it up. Bundgaard, Dan Mask study. The second thing I want to talk about is therapeutics. One of the gratifying aspects of this whole mess is that I've been able to offer a treatment to my patients when they get sick with COVID. Now, there are a cohort of patients who will need treatment, but the vast majority of people will get through COVID just fine. To those that do need treatment, I have a medication that's been out for the last 65 years. In Africa, it's known as Sunday Sunday because they take it once a week to prevent malaria. Now, this medication is extremely effective. I found it extremely effective in the patients that I've treat treated. The patients who've received it have been extremely grateful for receiving it. I've had no issue with side effects. As well as using the medication, I've been able to rely on the evidence and reports from many, many trials and studies. This is a very widely used medication and it was disappointing to see early on that the HSC prohibited us from using certain therapeutics. So I wish to widen the use of this medication if possible. And I'm sure you, want, you know the name of the medication that I'm uh, referring to. And more recently, there's other therapeutics coming online. And this would change the narrative and change the mood around COVID if people uh, weren't as afraid and if they knew that they had access to an effective treatment. My piece of advice to finish with is for people to fear less and try and understand more what's going on. People should turn off the TV. They should stop reading the mainstream media and try and do their own research. Try and have conversations with people that you trust and broaden your perspective. Listen to the other voices out there. There is more than one narrative to this.